Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this makeup look. It's really simple, it doesn't use that many products and it's the kind of makeup look that you can throw together every single day and it's not going to take you a bajillion brushes or major makeup skills to achieve. I love this kind of look for every day. It's just glowy and dewy and natural. And I'm also going to show you what sunscreen I use and all those little bits and bobs that are daily essentials for me. So if you wanna know how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, so when I am starting my daily makeup routine, I like to start with sunscreen. I'm Irish and my skin is super fair. I have a bit of fake tan on right now, so I definitely don't look as fair as I actually am, but I need sunscreen every day, like whether it's super hot out or whether it is just like mildly sunny. It is just something I can't skip, but I'm really picky with sunscreen because a lot of them break me out. Some of them feel really heavy, but what I have been loving is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face and Body Dry Touch Sunscreen Lotion. So this is SPF 50. And what I love about this is that it is lightweight and it absorbs into the skin without feeling like that heavy greasiness that you get off so many sunscreens. It doesn't like clog up my pores or anything. And once you have it rubbed in, it has a more matte finish. So it's dry to the touch, which is great. You don't want a super duper greasy, slippy base for your makeup either. Definitely not gonna make it hold on all day. SPF 50 for the face is ideal as well when you want to combat aging and sunspots and skin cancer and all of the things that this strong sun does to us here in Australia or anywhere in the world. So you can see that it has absorbed really quickly. It's got that lightweight finish and it's not overly greasy or anything. It's got that like dry touch technology, which is really good and it's got your full spectrum UVA, UVB protection, which is exactly what you need. Do not skip your sunscreen, girls. It's just not worth it. It will age you so quickly. If there's one thing you're gonna do every day, even if you're not putting on makeup, put on your sunscreen. This can also be used on the body as well, so it's a perfect all-rounder to have in your handbag, and it's also got two-hour water resistance as well if you're on the beach or you're sweating or any of that stuff. So now that is all absorbed in and I'm going to move on to foundation. I have been loving the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is it here. My bottle is so dirty because I use it so much. This is slightly darker than my natural skin tone because I do have that fake tan on. I'm going to use maybe three pumps and apply that all over my face. I find this foundation gives you like great coverage but also feels nice and lightweight during the day. And it mixes well with the sunscreen too, which is perfect. So together you're getting protection, you're getting coverage, but both com products combined aren't giving you what feels like a heavy cakey face, which is definitely not what you want on a daily basis. And one of my favorite things about this foundation is that it blends in so easily. Whenever I'm feeling lazy about makeup, which is quite often actually, I like things to be done very easily. I just grabbed another pump there. Um, it just blends in so easily. You're not fussing around with it. You don't have to go wet a sponge or anything. It just blends in really, really nicely with any kind of kabuki dense brush. That's giving me nice coverage, but still looks quite natural and dewy for every day. It's just the easiest foundation. Like you can see I'm not putting any work into that at all. Just don't forget to bring it down your neck as well just to match that up because we don't want floating ghost head. I lose fake tan off my neck so much. I actually look a lot paler on camera than I do in person. I might turn down my lights now and see if that can give you a better representation. Don't forget your pink little ears <laughs> so that everything matches in. Don't you just love messy buns for summer too? They're just the best for every day. Just throw your hair up and get on with life. For concealer, I've actually gone back to an old favorite. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind again. This is a new one. I used up my last one and you just twist it up like this and apply it under the eyes with the sponge. This concealer, honestly, like I was saying in one of my last videos that so many concealers are really annoying me lately and I just don't like them. And this is one of the only ones that isn't. So, there you go. 
a nice bargain find that works amazingly. So I just apply that with the sponge and then dab in with the foundation brush that I used before. Nothing fancy, this is just my whack it on daily routine at the moment. Perfect. Now some cream bronzer. I'm so boring when it comes to cream bronzer. I'm still using my Clinique Curvy Contour Stick. I just haven't found anything like it. I'm sorry. This is like, I don't know how many I've gone through, honestly. And this is all I've left. I'm going to have to pick some more up very soon. It just, it just works for me. Nothing compares. I've tried lots of other stuff. This is the best cream bronzer that I have ever used. And for the usual reasons that Michelle loves, blends easily, barely have to put any work into it. Looks natural and dewy on the skin, but is still giving you the effect that you want. So it kind of gives us that like, brontour, I guess you could say. So a little bit of bronze, a little bit of shaping at the same time. Now I like to use a little bit of cream blush. This is by the brand Luma, and it's called the Just A Touch Lip and Cheek Tint. I use this so often. I actually have the shade, this is the shade Muse, and I also have the shade Senorita as well, which is, Muse is kind of muted, and Senorita is a much more vibrant coral, and those are the two shades that I use a lot. I use them on a daily basis, even going to the gym if I wanna pop on some BB cream and just a cream blush, because some days I don't feel, you know, my best going to the gym. And I just really, really like them. I really like the formula. So I'm using my foundation brush, just tapping that in. And then I will tap that across the apples of my cheeks and take it back onto like the cheekbone as well. I don't mind taking my blush like quite close into the nose because I think that looks like a natural flush during summer. So we're kind of mimicking that like healthy, out in the sun, dewy. How many times can you say healthy and dewy, Michelle? Yeah. So. You can also put this on the lips. I'm not going to at the moment because I will pop on something else on the lips. But you could totally, you know, if you're in a run, just go do 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 and you would be done. That is so pretty. I don't really ever hear anyone talking about the brand Luma. They sent me some products a while ago and I just fell in love with those cream lip and cheek tints. So check them out. I'm going to set my under eyes and my eyelids a little bit and just some other areas of my face that I know my foundation will move a bit. I'm going to use the by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder because it's nice and light. It's a powder with hyaluronic acid in, so it actually would hydrate more than it would actually um, dry out the skin. So it does set without making you like cakey and powdery. I'm just using that on a little brush, taking it across the eyelids because I have very greasy eyelids. It just always, everything creases and moves around up there. Now on the sides of my nose, another place where everything moves. Chin is a big one for me as well. My foundation just like hops straight off my chin. Like why? Stay, we want you to stay. And then just the center of the forehead. And I think I'm going to leave the rest. For highlight, I'm sorry to say, I'm still boring as ever. I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. <laughs> At the moment I'm using Opal hit pan on it as if I ever hit pan on anything except this. That's how much I like it. And that is going to go on the tops of the cheekbones, on the brow bone. So healthy. Just everywhere the light hits and you want to look nice and glowing. Top of the lip. I do a little bit across the eyelid sometimes actually as well because it kind of just looks a bit like eyeshadow. <laughs> you probably won't agree with me on that one, but hey. And then also just inner corners as well because I just think that brightens up the eyes so, 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 so much. For brows, I have them tinted, so I'm not gonna do much. I'm just going to quickly give them a little brush. I'm trying not to be too precise at brows lately because I think they were getting a bit too structured and I like a more kind of like structured but still fluffy brow, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. It probably doesn't. I rarely do make sense. I'm taking the Benefit Goof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 2 and I'm just filling in any areas where I feel like it gets a bit sparse, but I'm not actually 
trying to like shape up the brow. Just simply filling in any gappy bits. I think this brow is my gappier brow. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanna do. Give them another little brush through. I do set them in place with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter as well though, because sometimes my brow hairs are quite long and they can be pointing up and down and everywhere and it's just like hey get back in line brows what are you doing almost finished not much more to do i'm going to do mascara i might mix two mascaras today i'm going to use the um, nara's climax mascara first because i like the volume that this that this gives i saw a lot of sponsorships going around on this mascara and it really is good it is a trustworthy sponsorship for sure guys don't doubt that i myself wasn't sponsored by them even though i would love to be but it's just a really nice mascara and i have pity for lashes so if it makes my lashes look good she's doing okay so on top of that i'm going to use some clinique fit mascara this is really really waterproof so it's just um well waterproof and lengthening and separating so it just kind of adds that bit of waterproofness to the nars climax mascara and a little bit of extra length on the ends which i like i get very runny mascara in summer or just in general really so a coat of waterproof over the top can do wonders See that? I had no lashes two seconds ago. Now look at my lashes. Them's is two good mascaras. I don't really like mascara on my bottom lashes these days, like maybe like a tiny bit, but not really noticeable, um, a noticeable amount. So I'm just kind of brushing those through with a spoolie to get rid of any clumps. If there's any flecks on the top of my um, eyelids I will get rid of those in a second as well so now for lips I'm still loving the nude by nature collection really like them if you haven't tried them definitely check them out I'm going to use the defining lip pencil in the shade number three rose that's that I did a video all about the nude by nature lipsticks and lip liners if you want to check it out I will leave it in a card below above um, and I'm also just going to use the moisture shine lipstick from nude by nature in the shade for blush pink and that's just a really nice pink for every day and it's super hydrating as well I don't always do this step but I'm just feeling like I need a little bit more bronze on my face today so I'm going in with the Becca Sunlit bronzer in the shade Bronze Bondi. I really like these bronzers and I don't think a lot of people talk about them. I'm just going to add a little bit just to the high points of my face because I'm feeling like I need just a little bit more than that cream bronzer today. And it also helps with my five head situation, which can all my five head girls out there please stand up. And lastly, taking that same bronzer on a fluffy brush just ever so slightly dragging it through the crease just to create some definition and some uniformity as well in the bronzer nothing special this ain't rocket science this is just everyday normal girl makeup and that's it so this is my everyday glowy, bronzy, easy to achieve makeup look. It can be used in summer or winter. I really don't think it is seasonal specific. This is kind of what I wear all year round, but it's definitely good for summer if you're here in Australia, but don't forget your SPF. It is so important to wear SPF if you wanna keep your skin looking young and keep your skin safe as well. And thank you so much to Neutrogena for sponsoring this video. I'm all about sun safety and I really love Neutrogena as well. So it was a really nice collaboration to do. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will talk to you guys again really, really soon.